Hey everybody, this is Andrew Roboto here, and today I'd like to do part 4 of the 2004 Red Sox yearbook review, which I will pick up where I left off, which is right here at Harry Hooper, which we finished that guy last, so the next one we are on is, which is where I left off, is Cecil Carlton Houston Tax. He played on the Red Sox from 1941 to 1949. Jack Eugene Jensen was on the Red Sox from 1954 to 1959. Or actually, he played on them until 1961. Unless he got traded, I don't remember. George Duffy, definitely heard of him. He was on the Red Sox from 1910 to 1917. James Reynolds Lomborg played on the Red Sox from 1965 to 1971. Fred Lynn, I'm definitely well familiar with him. I've heard of him. Some of these, some of these I've heard of. Most of these I haven't heard of. He was on the Red Sox from 1974 to 1980. Edwin Martin, Martin the Third. He was an announcer for the Red Sox from 1961 to 19... Let me think. He was, he was an announcer from 1961 to 1992 for the Red Sox. It's pretty cool. William Charles Monborgat. I'm sorry if I pronounced the name wrong because I've never heard of this guy. But from when I read in this description, he was on the Red Sox from 1958 to 1965. Richard Henry O'Connell, never heard of him. He was actually a general manager for the Red Sox from 1948 to 1977. Melvin Lloyd, or actually Mel Parnell, I've heard of him. I've definitely heard of him. He played for the Red Sox from 1947 to 1956. One of the best of all time. Johnny Pesky, another legend I've heard of. He played on the Red Sox. He first played on the Red Sox in 1942, but then he served in World War II, and he didn't come back to the Red Sox until 1946. Then he played for them until 1952, because he was serving in the war. Because Johnny Pesky, Ted Williams, and Bobby Doerr all served in World War II. And they didn't play for a little while, but then they came back eventually. Rico Petrosilli, definitely heard of him, one of the best. He was on the Red Sox from 1963, and then from 1965 to 1976. Richard Raymond, the monster, never heard of him, but that's an interesting nickname. He was on the Red Sox from 1962 to 1966. Jim Rice, definitely heard of him. One of the best. He was on the Red Sox from 1974 to 1989. Then the next Red Sox player is the one I've heard about the most, and I'm the most familiar with along with Tony Canagliaro, is Babe Ruth. Or as he's known by his real name, George Herman. He was on the Red Sox. I forgot to mention about Johnny Pesky. Um... Sadly, he died in 2012 during the year Fenway turned 100 years old. And now, believe it or not, Fenway Park just turned um, 110 years old. It's the oldest MLB ballpark. But anyways, back on the Babe Ruth. He played on the Red Sox from 1914 to 1919. Then he went to the Yankees, played for them from 1920 to 1934. And as soon as we got rid of him, the Red Sox were on a curse known as the Curse of Bambino, which they were unable to win a World Series until 2004. Which, believe it or not, it took them 86 years to get a title. Babe Ruth did return to Boston in 1935, but the only difference is he played on the Boston Braves in 1935. And then he retired. Okay, Reggie Smith, heard of him. He was on the Red Sox from 1966 to 1973. Tristram Speaker, I've definitely heard of him. He was on the Red Sox from 
1907 to 1915. Robert Stanley, definitely heard of him. He was on the Red Sox from 1977 to 1989. All right, next player. And this is actually the last page on the Hall of Famers. And then here's the description of other players it includes right there. Which includes the managers Jimmy Collin and F Hugh Duffy, Frank Chance, Ed Bull, Joe McCarthy, Bucky Harris, and Billy Herman. And then the players that are not shown here. Luis Aparico, Tony Perez, Jesse Burkett, Lou Boudreau, Ferguson Jenkins, George Kell, Orlando Cepeda, Heine Manouche, Al Simmons, Wade Hoyt, Tom Seaver, Juan Marcuso, Jack Chesbro, and then Dennis Eckersley. Jimmy Collins, I've definitely heard of him. He was both a manager and a player for the Red Sox, and he won a World Series of them in 1903. And then Ed Bell won a World Series of the Red Sox in 1918. And then here's players right here. Luis Tiant, player I've heard of. He was on the Red Sox from 1971 to 1978. He's actually one of the five players on my 1975 Red Sox shirt. So is um, Jim Rice, Carlton Fisk, Carl Yastrzemski, and Fred Lynn. Those are the five players on my 1975 Red Sox t-shirt. I also have a 1986 Celtics t-shirt, which has like the greatest players. But anyways, next player, Theodore Williams. He was first on the Red Sox from 1939 to 1942. Then he served as a Marine in World War II. Came back to the Red Sox from 1946 to 1960. Smokey Joe, another player I've heard of. He was on the Red Sox from 1908 to 1915. Carly Astrozemski, another guy on my shirt. He was on the Red Sox from 1961 to 1983. And then he got Gene Remington Yaki, Thomas Austin Yaki, who both works for the Red Sox and are very famous. And then we got C.Y. Young, which there's an award for him because he's one of the best players. He was on the Red Sox from 1901 to 1909, or 1908, sorry. He got a World Series title with the Red Sox in 1903. This is done special. And of course in 2004, Dennis Eckersley was selected for the Hall of Fame. And he went in the Hall of Fame in 2004. And he's definitely one of the legends. Red Sox on the air, nothing special. Jerry Remy, I'm definitely well familiar with him. He sadly passed away last year from cancer, which... Believe it or not, Jerry Remy fought, he fought cancer seven times. That's crazy. Seven, he had cancer seven times. That's just absolutely crazy. He played for the Red Sox, too, I remember. And he was one of the legends. He was a legendary Red Sox player and a broadcaster. And, of course, here's the Red Sox career statistics. First player got Edwin Almonte. Said he was on the Mets in 2003. Bronze on a Royal. He was on the Pirates from 2000 to 2002. Then he came to the Red Sox in 2003, and he was on there until 2000. He was on the Red Sox until 2005, and then he played for a bunch of other teams. Okay, Mark Bellhorn. Another player I'm well familiar with because he. Because he helped give us the win in Game 1 of the 2004 World Series. He was on the Athletics from 1997 until 2001. He was on the Cubs from 2002 to 2003. Came to the Red Sox in 2004. Okay, Frank, Frank Brooks. Uh, let's see, Jamie Brown. Ellis Burks. 
He was on the Red Sox from 1987 to 1992, White Sox 1993, Rockies from 1994 to 1998, Giants 1998 2000, the Cleveland Indians 2001-2003, came back to the Red Sox in 2004. And of course, you got Johnny Damon right here, which I mentioned what teams he played on in, in my review on the 2002 and 2003 yearbook, so I won't go into that since I know what teams he played for. Lenny DiNardo, Andy Dominique, Alan Embry. He was on the Cleveland Indians from 1992 to 1996, which they're now known as the Guardians. Braves from 1997 to 1998. Giants 1999 to 2001. White Sox 2001. Padres 2002. And then he came to the Red Sox in 2002. Keith Folk, which he came to the Red Sox in 2004, I think. Yeah, he came to the Red Sox in 2004, yeah. He was on the Giants in 1997. The White Sox from 1997 to 2002, Athletics 2003, came to the Red Sox in 2004. Jerome Gamble. And I got a couple pages left, so that's a good thing. So that means we might be able to finish this 2004 Red Sox yearbook review in part four. That'd be a good thing, because this is such a long yearbook. But anyways, next player is Reynaldo Garcia, who was on the Rangers in 2000, from 2002 to 2003. Came to the Red Sox in 2004. Nomar Garcia Parra. Talked about him in the other Red Sox yearbook reviews, so I'm not going to go into what teams he was on. Tim Hamulak. Sorry if I pronounced that last name wrong. Brian Hebson. He was on the Expos in 2003. Then he came to the Red Sox in 2004. Okay, Gabe Kapler. He was on the Tigers from 1998 to 1999. Rangers 2000 to 2002. Rockies 2003. And then the Red Sox got him in 2003. B. Young, Hiron Kim. I already know what teams he played for, so I won't go into that. Derek Lowe. Talked about him in the previous reviews. Just like a B. Young, B. Young, Hyun Kim, which I don't know how to pronounce the name. I do apologize. So I won't go into that. Mark Malaska. He came to Devil Rays in 2003. Red Sox in 2004. Anastasio Martinez. Pedro Martinez talked about him on the previous reviews, so I won't go into him. Ramiro Mendoza talked about him already, won't go into him. Kevin Miller talked about him already in the previous video, which was 2003. Okay. Doug Mirabelli already talked about him, nothing special. Bill Muller. Trot Nixon. David Ortiz. Also known as Big Poppy. Which David Ortiz is going to the Hall of Fame this summer. Since he's one of the greatest of all time. Manny Ramirez. Pokey Reese. Kurt Schilling. So I'm going to talk about him now because he came to the Red Sox in 2004. For Kurt Schilling, um, he was on the Diamondbacks from, I mean, like, who was he drafted by? Okay, he played, on, he played on the Diamondbacks from 2000 to 2003. Red Sox 2004-2007. Because I know he retired in 2007. Or 2008, I think. I don't know which year he retired. I gotta look that up. Cause I know he used to play for the Diamondbacks. Cause I know he played on the Diamondbacks too. 
and he won a World Series ring with them and World Series MVP in 2001, which he won MVP along with Randy Johnson. And then he got two World Series rings with the Red Sox in 2004 and 2007. That's Phil Siebel, Jason Scheel, Mike Timlin, Jason Veritek, which is currently a part of the coaching staff of the Red Sox, and then Tim Wakefield, and then Tim Wakefield. And I believe that's the last player I looked at. Oh wait, there's actually two more career statistics. Never mind. There's Scott Wool. There's Scott Williamson, which he came to the Red Sox in 2003. He played. He played on the Red. He played on the Reds from 1999 to 2003. And then he got Kevin Euclidus. Which he came to the Red Sox in 2004. He played on the Red Sox from 2004 to 2012. He played on the White the White Sox in 2012, and then the Yankees in 2013. And last but not least, the 2004 roster. Here's the pitchers. And now the catchers. Hang on, I gotta zoom in because I can't really see it. Infielders. And then the outfielders. And that is it for the Red Sox yearbook review for 2004. Finally got, we finally were able to finish in part four, so that's a good thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.